Hi guys, my name is Corley J, but what's the word? How are you guys doing today? We're good, good Corley. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you guys too. I wanted to know what does it mean to be the first two women of color to host a show like this? I mean, it just means everything. You know, you look at this space and there hasn't been a new show, a new uh, entertainment news magazine show in many years. And the fact that Will Packer and Monique Cheneau had the courage to say, hey, it's time to put two women of color on the stage and that they would select Julissa and I really means the world to us. And so we're really doing our best to um, represent our communities well and hopefully open the door for many other women that look like us to join this space as well. Yeah, it means so much. And, and the timing, we literally say the right show for right now because A, the fact that it's taken this long is crazy, but also, you know, things happen for a reason and timing is everything. And as we can see, 2020 has brought us so many things to have to think about and look at and face and, and really have conversations about. So this is um, the time that it's happening and we are beyond overjoyed to step foot in these positions that haven't been filled before and hopefully make everyone proud. But we do need people to watch because if, when you're the first of anything or when you're you know, trying to really be a trailblazer in anything, you really need the support. So um, in order for us to be here and be on your screens you know, at home, the numbers don't lie. So we need your support and we need everyone so that um, future generations and women of color can also be in a position. Definitely. Uh, Sonia, how does one go from being an Olympic medalist host, to, uh, I mean, an uh, Olympic medalist to a host on a syndicated TV show? The grace of God. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it, it still blows my mind. I pinch myself all the time. But I have to also tell you, too, I really worked hard. And when I was transitioning out of sports, I was very intentional and prayerful about my next steps. I'll never forget um, my final interview on the track when I was at the Olympic trials. Lewis Johnson, who would interview us all the time, he asked, what do you want to do next? And I said, I want to do, I want to host, I want to do commentating, I want to write a book, and I want to become a mom. And, you know, I really spoke those things into being. I didn't know I'd be working with Will Packer and Monique Chenault and Julissa B on Central Lab. I had no idea that's what God had in store for me, but I really put in the work and I was very intentional about it and I would write it down all the time and I would believe it, I would believe it and you know what happened. So I would just say to everyone out there that you know the power of the tongue um, and manifestation is real. And you know when you work hard towards something, sometimes you don't know, like you never know who's watching, but you don't know how the little things that you're doing in your life are really coming together to put together a really beautiful picture. So I feel very blessed and fortunate to have this opportunity. Awesome. Um, what does it mean to you guys to put the culture back in pop, pop culture? For us, it's being able to not just have diversity in front of the camera, but also behind the scenes. We have such an eclectic group of producers, um, talent that researches and um, editors and people from all walks of life. For me, I... I love it because I've never been on a show with such diversity. It reminds me of growing up in New York and getting on the subway. And that's what my daily life was, always interacting with people from all kinds of walks of life. So when we say we're putting the culture back in pop culture, we're, we're giving you these stories in a point of view that no other show is giving you because they can't. They can only give it to you, but, but for so, you know, what so much that they can deliver because they don't necessarily maybe have that diversity that we're bringing to the table. So we're, we say it in that regard and also because we feel like you can relate when we say that. When you watch Central Lab, you'll know that there's something that's gonna resonate with you differently when you watch and when you really digest the way we're telling these stories. That's awesome. I love that piece that you guys did about women in hip hop and how much, like, I want to know how much goes into it, like a short piece like that, like research and what's the process like? Oh, hip hop, um, feminism. Yes. That, one of my favorites too, actually. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know what goes so 
Yeah, it really does take a lot for that two or three minute piece to come together. We have morning meetings every morning at 8.30 where our team comes together and we're all allowed an opportunity to share what's happening, what we're passionate about, these stories that are trending. And then from there, you know, there's a, a story editor who's assigned to the project and they go deep with their team of researchers and finding the right videos and visuals to bring the story to life writing scripts, then we go in and do voiceovers. And it takes a lot of effort and work for those pieces to come together. And although it might be two or three minutes, it has taken 20, 30, 40. I don't even want to, I don't want to underestimate, but you know, tons of hours of research and work for a, a, a large team to put them together. And uh, you know, it's really amazing. Monique should know who's our showrunner. She was the first black woman to be a showrunner at Entertainment Tonight and is now our showrunner. And it blows my mind the way that she digests and um, disseminates these stories, like the layers that she will always try to add and pull out of us to make sure that it's not something that you've seen before. It's not the way that you viewed Cardi B or Meg Thee Stallion or Nicki Minaj before. It's in a new, fresh way that really appreciates their success and their work. So it's a lot of work. And I think it shows in the pieces. The pieces are very high quality. I feel like every yeah. second matters, every word matters. And you know, we put a lot of work, work into that. And I was really proud of that piece as well. Definitely. One of my favorites. I really loved it. Okay, so uh, finally, my last question to you guys. Well, can you guys give me three reasons why we should tune into Central Ave? Yeah. yeah. So for right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the right show for right now. I'm yeah, sorry, you're breaking up a little bit. Uh, things beyond just the headline. So if you think you know the headline and you think it's all just gossip, mm -mm, we've got you covered. We're going beyond all of that. And what else would you say, Sonia? I mean, and it is produced by Will Packer. It's here in Atlanta with two women of color. So I mean, to add, you know, a couple more things to what Julissa was saying, it's just, you know, I think that there are, there's nothing like it on television. There's nothing like it. I feel like I'm doing a show that I would want to watch. I'm that person who, I don't have time to scroll every <laughs> Go Instagram all day, but I do want to know what's happening. So you wait for the weekends, tune into Central Ave. Our traffic jam is packed with awesome information and our central stories are really investigative. And so it just gives you everything that you need in a 30 minute to an hour long format, depending on where you are. Um, and we try to do it with a lot of love and passion. So I hope that that reads through the, through the TV screen. Oh, and one more reason, because if you guys don't watch, then we won't be able to have more shows with representation like this. Yeah, yeah, that's the big one right there. That's, that's the, the big, big one. one. We need your support. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for talking to me today. You have a good one. Thanks, Corley. Nice to meet you. Hey, uh -huh. what's up? What's the word?